Oh, hey friends, how are you doing? Today, we are gonna learn about our body. Come on, let's go and explore. Friends, I hope you're excited to learn more about your body. Me and my brother are excited too. In fact, we are so excited. Come on, let's have fun. Wow, friends, what is this? What? Together with you and me, we're gonna find out of where the food you eat goes and how the poop comes out. We're now gonna see how our food gets digested. Wow, this is a really big mouth. When you eat the food, our teeth helps it to break it down into small, tiny pieces. It first goes into our stomach. Secondly, after you eat the food, it mixes in your stomach like a blender. Do you know what this is, friends? Yeah, it's our heart. It helps us beat. Wow, this heart looks and feels like my real heart and yours too. After your swollen food mixes in your stomach, it slowly goes down your intestines. This place is really big. Friends, did you know in your intestines, there's these small, small little hairy things that look like hair but isn't that gives good nutrients to your swollen food. And then the last step, it goes out of our butt. Wow, friend, would you look at this? Wow. It's a really, really, really big poo. <laughs> My brother really likes this virtual skeleton. Yay! Now we're going to see how our bones look like. This is the skull. This is our neck. Then our ribcage. This is our feet. We completed our skeleton. Yay! If our bones are really strong enough, we may even be able to ride bikes like these. We computed the human body. Wow, my own human that I made is quite funny. <laughs> uh oh. Wow, this eye shows us the different perspectives of when we squint at objects or at animals. Friends, have you realized that some food can help you see more clearly? That means it can be pretty useful when you're gaming or driving a car. <laughs> wow, driving is really, really fun. Do you have any idea of how many germs can be on your hand every day? Yeah. We'll find out! <laughs> Friends, you know it's a must to wash your hands every day. This is a place where we can feel and touch. So first, for this hand, ooh, it feels very... Oh, I think it's a ball! Let's check! Oh, it is a ball! And for this one... Ooh... I think it's a... Uh, I think it's a shark! It is a shark! Wow, my sense of touch is really good! This is her eye! Our eye shows us different colors depending on the lighting or the sun. When the lighting changes into different colors, what color do you see on the balls? Friends, did you know that all your body parts are connected to one another? But if your body parts weren't connected, something would be wrong and your body wouldn't move functionally. Now, we will learn about the ear. Shall we? Do you know what this is? It's something that helps us hear. Yeah, it's an ear. Each of these plates will make a sound and I will tell you what it sounds like. This is an ambulance. And this is a cat.
This is sneezing. This is a nose. This nose can help us smell. This is mint, and this is soap, and this is an orange. These are, these are animals, and these are bananas. This is a very fun thing. We put the ball into the nose. When something goes and goes inside our nose, what do you think will happen? A chew. Oh, a sneeze comes out. This is quite cool and fun. Ah, it feels so funny. Yay! I'm now going to shove myself into this. Wow, these small pins are creating whatever I push into this mechanism. Like for example, my hands. It's quite cool. Ah, uh, this is really funny. My brother likes it too. Wow, friend, would you take a look at this? This is the rainbow food chart. On the yellow chart, it has rice, beans, and some potatoes. Purple color, you got chicken, fish, and a squid. And this is a really healthy part. You got mushroom, carrots, and a cabbage. And this orange place is really healthy. You got apples, cherry, grapes, bananas, watermelon. So Friends, healthy. don't you think the rainbow food chart is really, really helpful? Don't you think? Friends, have you realized that some healthy foods can help us activate our brain really quickly? Like this puzzle, like if I eat a lot of healthy food, I, I can solve this puzzle in a quick second. We are now heading to the plane museum to see some planes across history. Let's go and have some fun! Wow, this plane is called a private jet. It's much smaller than those public planes. Yeah. Wow, it's a big, big, very big plane engine. Wow. Yeah, it's, really cool. it's fascinating of how engines can help us fly across the world. This engine can fly across the world. We have now arrived at the entrance of the National Aviation Museum of Korea. This is a place where we can see multiple planes. Me and my brother are so excited. Now we are going inside the museum. Everybody, come follow me. Come on. Wow, Yesung, look at Wow, friends, do you know what this is? It's a plane that can land in water and land like this. Ah! <laughs> wow, this plane looks like a fighter jet, but it's mostly used in air shows. It's so big and it has the color yellow and black. Friends, let's check out how this jet does during the air show performance. We are now going to the cockpit and check out what controls they have in there. Wow, the cockpit of the fighter jet looks so interesting. Wow. All these planes are miniature sized planes throughout history. Wow, there's so many planes. I want to buy them all. In the first row, they have the modern and advanced technology. While in the second row, they have jet engine used airplanes and in the last row they have old planes from years ago everyone now that is what a propeller engine looks like and this is an actual propeller do you know what this metal round thing is this engine and plane body is mostly used during the modern times wow it's really 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 huge Wow, there are so many metal stuff to power up a plane engine. Wow, all these metal parts can help us fly across the world. Wow, there are so many antique stuff from the history of aviation. From clothes and toys and hats. Cool.
Let's check out more miniaturized plane toys. Wow, they have so many more than last time. Wow. Oh, they even have a bigger fighter jet. Oh my god. Wow, friends, would you look at that? Those planes are stuck to the ceiling as if they're flying. Wow! This is what the inside of the plane looks like. The top is where we sit and the bottom is where the cargo holds. Wow, brother, would you look at that? That window looks very realistic, which feels like I'm really flying. Wow! Wow! Wow, this is a small scale of what our airport looks like. It feels so realistic. It even shows the layer of our airport. Wow, this is so cool! Friends, when you go to an airport, you may see signs like this which you may already know. When you first go into an airport, you may pass through the immigration. After you pass the immigration, you may check out the duty-free shop. After the duty-free shop, you may wait for you at the international departures. Meanwhile, while you're waiting for your plane, you might wonder, where's your baggage at? The process starts of when your baggage goes on a conveyor belt. The plane takes off, Wow, look at those clouds! Those clouds look so blue and white! They even have a realistic screen! Wow, it feels like I'm really flying! Today, me and my brother had fun experiencing and learning the different types of aviation. Friends, did you have fun? My brother decided to check out the toys in the souvenir shop. There's so many things to buy, I can't choose. Fun question, if you friends were here in the souvenir shop, what would you buy?